the last two weeks also brought more troubling signs from our southern border. Last month, closed with Customs and Border Patrol reporting the highest total for migrant apprehensions in nearly two decades. But while Republican senators traveled to the border, met with officials, and learned about the reality on the ground, the administration has preferred to inaccurately blame this recent spike on their predecessors. Finally, finally, last week, the White House rolled out a new budget proposal. I've been a supporter of Secretary Blinken and other officials' tough talk with the People's Republic of China. And with Putin again massing forces on Ukraine's border, administration officials have been right, right to warn against further Russian aggression. This budget outline was going to be one of the first real tests to see if the administration was prepared to walk the walk and put sufficient funding toward our military and strategic competition with China and Russia, both of which have invested heavily in military capabilities that threaten our forces. Unfortunately, for all the rhetoric, the President has asked Congress to break from the positive trajectory of the last four years and instead cut defense spending after inflation. That's going backward on national defense. This would undermine recent bipartisan progress, put the modernization of American forces in jeopardy, and help China toward their goal of overtaking the United States as the world's preeminent superpower. This budget proposal sent a clear signal to the rest of the world. And unfortunately, it suggests to our allies from Eastern Europe to the South China Sea that American resolve is far from guaranteed. On all these issues, there's broad and deep bipartisan interest in working together. Infrastructure legislation that actually focuses on infrastructure. Voting legislation that actually makes it easier to vote and harder to cheat. And funding legislation that provides the Pentagon with what it needs to keep up with China, Russia, and other adversaries. Legislation on all these topics have a track record of earning overwhelming bipartisan support. All these issues are ripe for regular order, bipartisan work, if the President and our Democratic colleagues are interested in going about them in the right way. But if the administration decides to reprise their tactics from February and March, if Democrats just declare our way or the highway, we'll know they have chosen to create political controversies rather than make progress for American families. Just ask for